Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and welcome to another site visit. Today we're outside Southampton on a bypass in Stubbington and I'm joined here by Chris Mitchell. He's an operator for Plant Force and he's got this baby. This baby is the absolutely brand new Cabalco automatic system with Leica Geo Systems and we've got SMP's tilt rotator on it. This is a first not just in the UK, Chris, in the globe. Yes. And you are the man that's going to be operating this today, doing lots of fun stuff like ponds and lots and lots of different testing projects for this particular unit. Tell me all about what your thoughts are on, on sitting in this machine now and, and a little bit of your background that brings you here, Chris. Uh, well, I think it's a great step forward, uh, integrating um myself and or whoever great drivers there are about with the technology that we have or is given to us now to uh, to do these jobs. Um, I've been driving for 18 years now and I've been doing Leica for the last what five six years and I think it's, it's, a, it's a good step forward you know you can just go away do what needs to be done and um, you left your own devices with, with the equipment that's given to us. And I think you're the first person here on this automatic system. It's completely new. And a lot of people are saying to me, Chris, as operators, experienced operators like you, I know you've got about 18 years experience. They're all saying, well, it's taking the skill away from the operator and things like that. But you are one of the most skilled operators in, uh, in plant force. And you're being given this task because it's not easy, is it? You have to know what you're doing, don't you? Yeah, you do. I mean, technology is, is all good, but it still needs that human element to be involved with it because we learn off the technology and then technology needs us to be the guidance put together with technology and some things are going to make our life easier through a, a working day because sometimes just alone is a lot to, to do in a day and if your day can be made easier by certain elements of technology, then I'm all for it, definitely. And it keeps that sort of really scary thing away from your mind, which is the people plant interface, doesn't it? Because you've got yeah. the model there on that great big Leica tablet, haven't you? Yeah. Just tell me how that helps you do your job when you've got that comfort there, but also the model there. I've got the machine set up to uh, a chime, so then I listen to the chime, so I'm not constantly looking at a screen all the time. So if I know that I'm on the grid, or I'm in a road, wherever I'm working, until I get down to defining elements of the job, you know, like a shelf or I'm putting a camera in a road, then obviously I pay slightly attention to detail on the screen because you have to, because that's where you've got to be within the tolerance. Like I say with the drawings and everything, if an engineer comes down and, and does an elevation on my bucket and then we know how close we are to their equipment, then it's all good because tolerance is normally 50 mil on a machine when it comes to a job, but then obviously you can ask a client and what they want and then we can dial it down depending on how accurate they want to be within the cut. So I normally set the machine up to about 20 mil and then that way when I hear the chime, if I'm in a more of an open dig because a lot of the work will be like shaping up first and then you can pay attention to detail depending how you're sat and where you're working from at that moment in time. So I think it's it's great. It's an extra dimension to driving. If you like looking at drawings and reading drawings and stuff then I think it's great. It's such a good piece of kit to have. The thing is about this automatic, tell the operators what's different about it because you get some extra help, don't you? And also, you know, yeah. that, that element of where we are today, I know BAM's really, really focused on making sure you're focused outside. You know, people can yeah. hear behind us, it's a busy site here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, the extra element is obviously on the joystick, um, it'll go out and then it'll set up the level and it'll draw back and then you use the left joystick without interrupting the right joystick. Um, I think which is, is good, it's, it's a, an extra element on an open area where you can just take out a piece of your work where you know the, the machine's going to take over. A lot of people don't like the chime and they like to read the date levels on the screen and I think that's why um, you can be distracted to be looking at the screen more than looking out what's going on around you. That's why I put the chime on and I can look at the light bar on front of me and with the chime that makes me then again look out the corner of my eye and I see that because when the chime goes Whatever the tolerance is, 20, 50 mil, you know, I, I'm there, you're good. And then you don't constantly have to be looking at the screen all the time. And that makes me more 360 degree aware of what's going on around me, which is the, one of the biggest safety points. You can't be 
distracted by a screen all the time. So Chris, I think that's really important that people don't necessarily understand that chime feature or that visual feature. Tell yeah. me, what does that instrument there, the Leica, show you? The, light, the Leica, work? basically, it's a, a light indicator. Once you're getting closer to your gradient, the chime will kick in within the 20 mil, I'd say, or whatever the tolerance is. There's another focal point you can watch there out the corner of your eye or like I say when you start doing more defining stuff sometimes you can be in an environment where you can dial your thinking process down and you know you're in a more of a safer environment where you can pay attention to detail on the screen because sometimes you will have to because if I'm cutting a swell or a pond and it's got a shelf in it that's where the human element comes in where your skill and your experience will take over because sometimes the computers are very good but the human bit is where you have to cut the shelves by the human eye that's down to you and that's where I still think that ourselves and computers still have to interact with each other and work together. Thanks very much for that Chris and obviously the biggest thing with this one as well is it's got an SMP tilt rotator on it so it allows you to do yeah. what you're doing today which is you're starting on the site here you're going to yeah. be digging big ponds and stuff aren't you yeah brilliant i mean it's one of the best pieces of kit you can get um the tilt rotate is just great you know what i mean it takes out a good percentage of the moving about you know because you can do a lot of work from one point where you can do the batters and the, the shelving where you don't have to like probably move two three four times to maybe get a corner or a square ledge I've always said on a lot of jobs i think they're brilliant to have they are good well, we're going to see you in action today, Chris. So yeah. thanks very much for talking to us and um, no we'll see how it all goes. Thank you. Cheers.